Hush. Parallel sides, yes. One pair of parallel sides. So it's not a parallelogram because these are not parallel. Uh, what are the parallel sides called? Base. Bases. So you got like base one and base two. And what are the not parallel sides called? Legs. What kind of trapezoid is it called if the legs are the same length? Isosceles. It's called an isosceles trapezoid. You guys remember isosceles triangles? Yeah. What did we know about isosceles triangles? Um, the base angles. The base angles are also equal. Well, it turns out in an isosceles trapezoid, the same thing is true. If these two legs are the same, then the base angles have to be the same. Now, not only are these the base angles, uh, these are also base angles, because there's a base up there also. So, these two are the same, and these two are the same, only in an isosceles trapezoid. See how they look the same? They are the same. Okay. Now, something else is kind of important that they don't mention, but if these two lines are parallel, let me let me draw it on. I saw slaves here. Okay. Exaggerated a little bit. Okay. What do I know about angle one and angle two? They are supplementary. Why are they supplementary? Why do they add up to 180? How do I know that? Because they're same side interior between these two parallel lines. And same thing with three and four. So this is not an isosceles trapezoid. This isn't any trapezoid. These two angles have to add up to 180. Or these two have to add up to 180. How about these two? Do they have to add up to 180? No. They will not add up to 180 because these two lines are not parallel. Uh, but if up here, if it's an isosceles trapezoid, they don't add up to 180, but they are congruent. Because everything, if it's isosceles, everything's lined up perfectly. So anyway, uh, it's trapezoid. Um, what do you think we know about the diagonals in an isosceles trapezoid? Okay. Because an isosceles trapezoid is like perfectly symmetrical, the diagonals are congruent, just like in a rectangle from yesterday. So, yeah, this thing equals this thing, so yeah, it's all congruent. Everything's equal. Even like this is equal to this, and this is equal to this, and the whole thing's equal to the whole thing. These are all congruent. Okay, I think I, think I got all the trapezoid things. Let's see if I forgot anything. Uh, if a trapezoid has one pair of congruent base angles, it's isosceles. Uh, the trapezoid is isosceles, its diagonals are congruent. Oh, yeah, I did forget one thing. Uh, do you guys remember a mid-segment? Yeah. From a triangle? Uh, like, if it goes to the midpoint, it's called a mid-segment on a triangle. And <clears throat> what do we know about the mid-segment of a triangle? Parallel to one of the bases, and what else do we know? Yeah, this is half the length of this, turns out. So, on a trapezoid, you can also have a mid-segment. So, like this would be equal to this, and this would be equal to that. Um, guess what we know about the mid-segment in a trapezoid? Okay, it's parallel to the bases, and what do you think we know about the length of it? How would the length relate to the bases? No. It's this base is short, this base is long, this one's kind of right in the middle, right? It's a little bit longer than that one, shorter than that one. Well, it's just the average of the two bases. So the mid-segment equals base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. Just average the two together. So it's a little bit different than this one. So on the triangle, it's just mid-segment is half of this base. 
by the mid-segment of the trapezoid is the average of the two bases. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is kites. We're talking about trapezoids and kites. What made a kite a kite? Consecutive, two pairs of consecutive, I can't draw that perfectly, I don't know. Two. Okay, let's pretend that's perfect. So, <clears throat> yeah, that makes it a kite. Um, it says there's one pair of opposite angles. So, actually, let me... One pair of opposite angles in a kite is congruent. That would be these two. This one, this angle is smaller than that one. Can you guys tell? Okay, what do you think we know about the diagonals in a kite? Any guesses? Um, well, this angle is not bisected. Um, because these two triangles are different, but actually th this angle up here is bisected. Yeah, they're perpendicular. See how they look like perfect 90 degree angles? Um, another thing we know is by, um, like these, these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse leg. You guys see it? So these two triangles are the same by hypotenuse leg, hypotenuse leg. These two triangles, the bigger ones, are congruent by hypotenuse, dang it, hypotenuse leg. Uh, so the triangles that look the same are the same. That means these two little angles up here are the same. Or, um, darn it, this angle here and here are the same. This angle here and here are the same. Oh, shoot, that's not right. This angle and this angle are the same. Because these are the same triangles. In these two triangles, this angle is the same as this angle. This angle is the same as that angle. So all the things that look the same are the same, basically. These two are not the same, though. This triangle is different than this one. Uh... Lots of stuff going on there. So, <clears throat> mark that one up really good. Let's see, what else? Uh, one pair of opposite angles in a kite is congruent. That would be this angle and this angle are congruent. The diagonals are perpendicular. The axis of symmetry. So, they're pointing out that in a kite is symmetrical. So, it has an axis of symmetry like this line down the middle. Both sides are the same. It says the axis of symmetry bisects the crossbar. This is the crossbar of a kite. Like these, they're saying these two things are equal. Anyway, big, big mess there. All right, you guys ready? Number one. Number one is, can actually trick people. They didn't start off with the easiest possible question like they normally do. Uh, find a measure of each angle in a trapezoid. So, how could we find angle B? Yeah. Is number one an isosceles trapezoid? No. So, angle B and angle A are not the same. But... Angle B, what do we know about angle B and C? They're supplementary. They have to add up to 180 because they're between parallel. They're same side interior between parallel lines. So Issa said 180 minus 60, which is what? 120. Okay, and then angle D, how could we find angle D? Sorry, yeah, 
180 minus 110, because those two angles have to add up to 180, just like B and C. So 180 minus 110, 70. Uh, what else do we know about the angles of a quadrilateral? What do all the angles in a quadrilateral have to add up to? 360. Keep that line for later. Okay, number three. Is that an isosceles trapezoid? Yes, which means it's symmetrical. In this case, the top and bottom halves are the same. So, how can we find angle B? Yeah, I'm on. Somebody besides Isia and Libya. How can we find angle B? 180 minus 125. The same side interior angles between the parallel lines, the left and right are parallel, have to be supplementary. You have to add up to 180. So 180 minus 125 is 55. Okay, if angle B is 55, what is angle C? 55. 55. In isosceles trapezoids, they're the same on both faces. Okay, uh, how could we find angle D? Or what is angle D? 125. Because it's the same thing as angle A. Alright, so... On number five, it says find... So that we're talking about trapezoids still. Find PR. What did they, what did we say we knew about the diagonals in a trapezoid? They are the same, just like in a rectangle. So, I'll draw it real quickly. So, it says, ST is 33, that's right here. And what else does it say? PT is 20. So, since this is an isosceles trapezoid, uh, both of these diagonals have to be the same. So, this has to be a 20, and this has to be a 33. So I think the question is, how long is this diagonal, which would be the same as the other one, which is 20 plus 33, so it is 53. Okay, on number seven, what is, we're supposed to find MN, what is MN? It's a mid-segment. Going through the midpoints of the trapezoid. It says PS is 34, QR is 48. So, how do we find the length of the mid segment, MN? Uh, average. average. Mid segment is right between. So, this is a short, this one's long, this one's in the middle. So, it's the average of these two. So you do you average two numbers, you add them together first and then divide by two. So it's 82 divided by two. Mm -mm. Okay, on number eight, it's a bit trickier because they give you the mid segment, they don't give you the top base. So, looks like this X uh, 4354. So, this is number eight. How would we figure out X in this case? Well, let's set it up algebraically and solve it. So, how would I write this? X 
and 54 average to equal 43. How would I solve that algebraically? Times 2 minus 54. Should I draw the kite? Probably should. You guys see Mary Poppins? Yes. Remember the song at the end? Oh, uh, let's go fly kite. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Eli, you want to perform it? No. <laughs> okay. You guys remember what I said about kites? Like all the triangles that look the same are the same. That's kind of the, and also what do we know about the diagonals? They're perpendicular. That's kind of all you need here. So how could I find like this angle up here? That one. Well, look, we know this is 90 and this is 50. So how do I find that? These three angles are in three angles of a triangle, so they have to add up to 180. 180 minus 90 minus 50 is 40. So guess what else is 40? Okay, this one is not. This is a different triangle. This angle is bigger than 40. You can kind of tell by looking at it. But this is 40. These two triangles are the same. <coughs> So that means this is 50 also. These two triangles are the same. That means this is 35. Okay, how could I find this angle right here? So 180 minus 90 minus 35 is 55, which means this is 55. I pretty much named them all, so all our answers are in here somewhere. All right, so number nine says angle B, A, D. Okay, B, A, D. So that would be this angle here. So that would be uh, 70 degrees. And then it says angle B, E, A. B, E, A is 90. And then it says A, B, E. So A, B, E. That would be that one, 55. We already found it. And then it says A, D, C. So... A, D, C. That would be this one down here. So it's 55 and 40. So it's 95. Mm. That's kind of like number uh, 12. It's pretty similar to that one. Okay. Number 11. Okay, number 11 says angle A. What would angle A have to be? 47, yeah. Uh, kites are symmetrical. The right and the left are the same in this case. Number nine, it was the top and bottom are the same. But angle A is the same as angle C, so it's 47 degrees. And then how could we find angle D? Any ideas? We have the three other angles in the kite, so how do we find the fourth angle? What do the four angles have to add up to? 360. So you do 360 minus 124 minus 47 minus 47.
Okay. So, number 13. Number 13 says, write triangle congruent statements for three pairs of congruent triangles in the kite. Okay, there's three pairs of congruent triangles in the kite for number 13. So, uh, okay, Grant, what's one pair? X, W, Y, and then All right, X, W, Y. <clears throat> so that's the big triangle on top and the big triangle on bottom. All right, somebody else, what's another pair of congruent triangles? Uh, forced. Um, w, X, V, and W, Z, V. Uh, what did you say, W, X, V yeah. and W, Z, V? Okay, so the little triangles on the left. And somebody else, what's the last pair? Okay, ZVY and XVY, those triangles on the right. I assume you remember that. 14 is kind of tricky. Um, there's, you guys see a lot of triangles in that picture, right? There's actually five triangles in the picture. Do you guys see the five triangles on number 14? Yeah, I only see three trapezoids. Okay, there are also trapezoids. Can you guys name one of the trapezoids? Grant? Uh, yeah, BFEC is kind of like the upper right trapezoid. There's, yeah, there are three trapezoids. So, you kind of have to use isosceles triangle theorem to figure out what angles are the same. And based on what angles are the same, you have to figure out which of those trapezoids is an isosceles trapezoid. It's a little bit tricky, but yeah, I'm not, I'm going to still let you guys try it. All right, 15. Are you guys looking at 15? Uh, what, what is CE? You guys know? Uh, mid it's a mid, mid segment of triangle BDF. You guys see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. CE is a mid segment of triangle BDF. Okay, and there's stuff we know about mid-segments, right? Mid-segments of a triangle are half the length of the base. So CE should be half as long as BF. Okay, what is BF? BF is a mid-segment of trapezoid ACEG. You guys see what I'm seeing? BF is a mid-segment of trapezoid a, C, E, G. So that tells us it should be the average length between C, E, and A, G. All right, so the question is find the extended ratio of C, E, B, F, A, G. Um, extended ratio just means a ratio of more than just two numbers. But it's just like a ratio, basically. Uh, they're telling us C, E is 8. Let me draw this. segment of a triangle is half the length of the base of the triangle, just looking at this triangle. Uh, how long would that thing have to be, whatever it's called, AG? How long is that? Well, it's kind of like number, uh, I don't know, number eight or something. Yeah, it's like number eight. Um, 
8 and x should average to 16. Because it, it's uh, 16 is the mid-segment of this trapezoid right here. So 8 plus x divided by 2 should equal 16. So how do I solve for x? Times 2 minus 8. 32 minus 8. It's 24. Okay, so the ratios, or the ratio, extended ratio, is 8 to 16 to 24. But guess what? Do ratios reduce? Yeah, yeah they do. They're kind of like fractions. So if you divide, what can we divide all these by? 8. The biggest thing we can do is 8. So divide by 8, we get 1 to 2 to 3. So any picture that looks like that with like mid segments is going to have a ratio of one to two to three. That's kind of what that boils down to. But that's our that's our final answer. Okay, now we're jumping to eighteen, nineteen, I guess. Um. So on 19, it says angle B plus angle D is 235. What do we know from that picture? What do we know about angle B and angle D? They are the same. Yes, they're equal. So if angle B plus angle D is 235, whoops, uh, how could I find one of those angles? Divided by 2 because they're each half of that angle. So 235 divided by two is, oops, 117.5 degrees. I didn't read the directions, but the directions say, find the measure of each angle in kite ABCD. So we gotta find all four angles. So two down. What's angle A? Because it says so in the picture. It's not always the case, but in this one it is. And so it looks like I'm missing angle C. How could I find the fourth angle? 235 plus uh, 90 degrees minus uh, 360. 360 minus these three angles should give us the fourth. Uh, 360 minus 90 is 270. 270 minus these two make 235. 270 minus 235 is 35 degrees. So make sure you get four answers for all these questions. All right, 21. Last one. Um, okay, we're still, it says find the measure of each angle again. Can anybody tell me how we could set up something for 21 to help us? They all add up to 360, but that's not going to help because we got Y's and X's, so we need something else. It's actually the same trick we used on number one at the very beginning. What do we know about angle A and angle B? They have to add up to 180 because they're same side interior between the parallel lines. So 3y plus 3y minus 6 equals 180. And we could say the same thing about the bottom two angles. They should add up to 180. So. 5x plus 2 plus 3x plus 2 equals 180. And now it's time for fun with algebra. Does a plus in front of parentheses do anything? No. No, not really. If it was a minus, you'd kind of have to distribute the minus, but plus 3y and plus minus 6, that doesn't really change anything. So 3y plus 3y. Six 
divided by 6. x plus 2 plus 3x plus 2 is 8x plus 4. Alright, is that it, the final answer? We're supposed to find the angles, so we have to plug all this stuff back in. So let's do, is it A, B, C, D again? Yeah. How do I find angle A? Three times Y. So three times 31 is 93. Angle B is three times Y, 93, minus six. says 3 times x, I got 22 for x, 3 times 22, 66, plus 2, angle D says 5 times 22, 110, plus 2, if we did this right, what should be true about these angles? We did it right. All right. That, that was it. It's not that bad, is it? Except for maybe number 14. I'm anticipating troubles.